This is a friendly reminder that there's never been a mass shooting by anybody dressed like the Joker. Hi, I'm Harlan, the Santa Cruz Joker. There are many men like me throughout the world who dress like the Joker, and some of us do it to go to hospitals and entertain dying people, some of us do it to entertain the world, and some people do do it to act out some fantasy by committing small crimes. Like, I saw this one article of a guy dressed like Heath Ledger's Joker. He just kind of like waddles up to a, a, a bar with like a tip jar and then just takes the jar and walks up. He's just, he looks so awkward about it too. He's just like, <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? Now, here's the thing. I know what you're gonna say. What about Colorado? A guy shot up a place dressed like the Joker. It's like, it was a movie theater showing The Dark Knight Rises, and he was not dressed like the Joker. He was dressed in a SWAT outfit, basically, like black combat gear, and he had like wiry ginger hair. Anything! It was a carrot top shooting. Hi, you should have been the Joker! Ha ha ha! You know? <laughs> but yeah, no, we're gonna have this new Joker movie, and you know, people are going to show up to the theaters dressed like the Joker and Harley Quinn to see the movie because Joker and Harley are in it, and Harley is for some reason played by Lady Gaga. I mean, she's about as weird as Joaquin Phoenix. But it is weird that people are okay with girls going as Harley Quinn but not guys going as Joker, seeing as Harley is also a murderer who cuts off genitals and does all kinds of crazy stuff. Like, I know y'all never read comics and you probably don't remember the cartoon from back in the day, but... She was his counterpart. She was just as destructive as he was. And just because she's having a redemption arc doesn't mean that she didn't have a dark past. Joker's getting a redemption arc right now. You don't even know about it because you never read Batman White Knight or Curse of the White Knight, the sequel, and you haven't watched the Harley Quinn show because all you did was listen to internet reviews from a bunch of worthless chuds who don't like change. Like some of you who are fans remember when I went to go see Joker 2019 with my buddies, I went dressed like the Joker, and the lady at the place stopped me, and she's like, I'm, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, I can't, we can't have you here like this, and I'm like, why? Like, what What do you think I'm gonna do? She's like, I, I, I just, I'm like, listen, honey, I'm gonna go wash the makeup off if it makes you feel any better, but here's the thing, if I was actually here to kill you all, do you think this would deter me? If I was actually here to murder everyone in this theater, do you think asking me to leave would genuinely stop me? <laughs> so, you know, when this new movie comes out and you see people showing up as Joker and Harley Quinn to go see this film, shut up. Okay? Because if they wanted to kill you, you say, oh, sir, we're gonna need you to leave <laughs> and being a little fucking Karen about it isn't gonna deter them. You're just really lucky, sweetheart, that I'm such a calm and patient person. Robin Williams said he has never met an angry stoner, and I really wish I had met him. For multiple reasons. You know, sometimes there are just people who are into the Joker because they also had a really bad day. And unfortunately, they didn't have billionaire parents to back up on and use their money to become an authoritarian who beats the crap out of anyone in Gotham who sells a little bit of weed. Batman, like all of the Justice League, is an authoritarian dick. To the point where they have a satellite in orbit that has a laser, and they call it the Watchtower. It's funded by the Jews. Remember Jewish space ladies? Do you guys remember that? During the California fires? Oh my god, people are so stupid.